Hello, I'm Matthew, we're the Scoops. Today, we're making turkey pot pie. All right, so Thanksgiving's just passed. You've got some leftover turkey. I've got about, oh, about three cups here that I've shredded up. Decided uh, no more turkey sandwiches. We're gonna make a pot pie. Now I'm gonna have all the ingredients down below. Keep in mind, I've already made our pie crust dough. If you wanna know how we made the pie crust dough, go ahead and check out our channel. Hit that subscribe button and you'll see that uh, video up there. So let's go ahead and get started on getting all this put together. Now most of the ingredients that we're gonna be using here are pretty simple. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and chop up our onion. I'm using half an onion here. Um, again, most of these ingredients can be tailored to your own personal liking. For this one, we're using half an onion. So let's go ahead and just get this all chopped up here. That's all chopped up. Let's go ahead and throw that into our little mixing bowl here. This is just to hold everything for the time being. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is carrots. Uh, the carrots that we have here today are just little baby carrots. Uh, if we had full-size carrots, I'd probably use those. Uh, whichever you prefer, you know, that's the one you should use. We're gonna go ahead, same thing, chop these up, get them in our bowl. That looks pretty good. And let's put that in our bowl. I'm gonna grab a couple of celery sticks. Actually, maybe even one. Let's start with one. And let's see how this goes. All right, that actually looks like a good amount. We just did the one. Let's throw that into our bowl. And the garlic. Now I actually have two large garlic cloves here that I'm using today. You can add more, you can add less. Once again, it's up to you. All right, we've got that minced up pretty good there. Now that we've got our veggies chopped up here, we're gonna go ahead and get the skillet ready and start melting our butter. All right, for this, I'm going to be melting a third of a stick of butter. We're just gonna turn our stove on to a medium high heat and let this start melting. All right, our butter's all good and melted. So what we're going to do now is throw in the veggies that we've cut up. Now, because you're dealing with hot butter, as you are pouring these in, please be sure to be careful. All right, we've got all of our veggies in there. So what we wanna do now is begin cooking these until they begin getting soft and transparent. And immediately, you can smell it. And it smells amazing. All right, this is coming along quite nicely. So what we're going to do now is lower the temperature just a little bit of medium heat now and we're going to go ahead and add the flour we're going to add a third of a cup of flour because basically think of it like making sausage gravy you've cooked your sausage now you're going to flour it up then you're going to add your milk in this case we're going to start with adding broth but first is the flour and we're just going to sprinkle this all around in here making sure it's good and incorporated Once again, make sure to stir it frequently. You don't want any of this to begin to burn. And just keep stirring until pretty much all, everything's all good and coated and all the flowers incorporated with your mixture here. Some of it may stick to the bottom depending on your pan, like this one, but that's okay. So now we're going to add one and three quarter cup of chicken broth. Just pour that right in there. Make sure to stir everything all up so it's all good and once again, mixed together, incorporated. All right, as you can see, it's already kind of thickening up. So what we're going to do now to make it good and silky and a good rich filling here, is we're going to add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Get this stirred in, and then we're gonna start adding a few seasonings. Now the seasonings I like to use is basil, rosemary, and thyme. Now I actually grow my own basil, so I'm using that today. If you don't, just your regular uh, shaker will be just fine. 
Get that good mixed in. A little rosemary. I'd say this is about a teaspoon of rosemary. Get that sprinkled in and stir it up. And then the same with our thyme. Once again, I'd say that's about a tablespoon of thyme. We're just gonna sprinkle that on in. And let's add our salt as well. And the same thing, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. Get that good and stir it in. And now for our last bit, which is gonna be frozen peas. We're just gonna add about a cup of these. That might actually be more than a cup, but. Now you can use fresh peas in this if you want. Uh, you could actually even use canned peas. Uh, I do think that the frozen peas and, and or the fresh peas work the best. And as you can see, this is really starting to thicken up here. All right, and now that we've got this good and stirred in and it's got its heat back just a little bit, we don't want to overcook this, but we do want the heat to come back a bit. We're gonna add our final ingredient, which is, of course, the shredded turkey. Now, this works the exact same if you're using chicken. Uh, I'm just using leftover turkey. You can actually even use a rotisserie chicken if you happen to pick one up from the store, just shred it up and use that, and it works just as well. Just pour all this in here. Again, that's about three cups. And now we wanna make sure that this is all mixed in. And as you can see, this has created a really good, thick pie filling here. Now, don't worry if you are concerned that this is a little undercooked for the frozen peas and such. This is going to get baked in the oven, so we're going to be just fine. We've got this all stirred in again. Now what I'm going to do is take that mixing bowl that we had earlier, and I'm going to pour all of this into it. Remember to be careful when handling all this because it is hot. I'm just going to pour all of this into our bowl here. Get every last little bit of it. And this is done. So what we are going to do now is get our pie crust ready to receive all this. So we want this to cool down just a little bit. You don't want it super hot going into the pie crust. Um, you want it to cool down just a little bit first. So while our pot pie filling is cooling down a bit, let's go ahead and get our pie crust ready for the pie pan. All right, so what we need to do now is go ahead, we're gonna unwrap this and we need to roll it out. So I'm going to put down a little bit of flour to dust my countertop here. Let's go ahead, make sure to get some of that flour on both sides here. And we're gonna start rolling this. We're just gonna kind of lift this up and we're gonna gently roll this up. Just gonna lift this up and then just kind of roll it back on. Just like that. Now what we do not want to do is we're not we don't want to shove our dough into the pan. Doing that can stretch it out, okay? So what we want to do is kind of lift, and just kind of tuck it down, and we're done with that part. So what I'm going to do now is put this into the refrigerator while we roll out the top layer, and then we're gonna fill this up. So at this point, we've got our top rolled out here, We've got this and our pie filling is done. I went ahead, I am preheating the oven for 425 degrees. Let's go ahead and get this pie filling in. Now at this point it's cooled down quite a bit so it should be pretty easy to handle. We're just gonna scoop this on in here. We're gonna gently kind of push this down in here so it fills up all of this crust here. Now let's go ahead and put our top on gonna roll it right across just like that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this we're gonna kind of tuck it under just like this all the way around and the last thing is your crimp just kind of come in here and just just like that just take like two thumb two fingers and a thumb and you're basically just going around just like that and your last hole here is where your thumb's going to go. Just like this. That way it's good and uniform all the way around. Now let's cut some slits into this. 
for when it's baking. Now the last little bit, we're gonna take some of that heavy whipping cream that we used with the filling, and we're actually going to brush it on like a wash onto our pie crust. Now you can actually use eggs to do the same thing. I'm gonna use that whipping cream. Now if you don't have a brush, unfortunately I have no idea where mine's at, just fold up some uh, paper towel and we're just gonna use that as a brush. So. And this will help it turn that nice golden brown. And now this is ready for the oven. For the oven, we're going to do this in basically two parts. For the first 20 minutes, we're gonna bake this at 425 degrees. After 20 minutes, we're gonna drop that temperature down to 350 degrees and cook it for another 40 minutes. And after that 40 minutes, we'll take it out, we'll let it sit, and it needs to sit for probably a good 15, 20 minutes because it's gonna be super hot. So let's go ahead and get this into the oven. There you have it, turkey pot pie. Once again, it doesn't have to be turkey. You can use chicken. It could be leftover turkeys, fresh turkeys. You could use a rotisserie chicken if you wanted to, shred that up. If you happen to have fresh chicken that you cook specifically for this, that's awesome as well. You could even make it just a vegetable pot pie. You do the exact same thing, just take out the chicken or the turkey. Either way, it's gonna be amazing. So if you happen to follow along and try this recipe, come back to this video, leave a comment down below. Once again, the ingredients that I use, I'll also link those in the description down below. Now, if you're interested in how we made the pie crust, I've already created that video. You can go ahead, check out our channel. You can find it there. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.